So where we left off just now, you're earning two days. You may Maliza two gigs. You may Maliza. You may pick a salo. So I'm looking at opportunity cost. Am I going to do this radio stuff? or am i going to take these jobs that are paying me so much because now i started working for even other agencies kina more sound they're calling me for gigs for safcom nini mm. strano is calling me for kenya live i'm doing gigs now still at this time in the market there is no other dng version none yo i'm alone so the demand is pretty high and i'm pushing the red card as i go yo. me i'm not afraid to negotiate i love to negotiate i do it every day at this time have you bought that <laughs> that van not yet the van came in about uh, 2010 okay and we've not we've not checked into elections right now that was that was not yet uh, yeah, yeah that's 2020 yeah, 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 yeah. bra okay so the biggest thing that this kiss experience and i'm hearing from you that it did to you was of course the discipline that he taught you because you've got to be there on time plan yeah, yeah. understand how to by the way it even taught you how to mc because you have to it, it, within it, it taught me how to MC corporate events yes how to plug. because uh-huh. corporate events are conversational even presenting is conversational so some things i had to unlearn even during the, the radio training you you have to unlearn that you're not MCing mm. you're talking to one listener because in media when you're talking on radio for example you're talking to one listener who's tuned in to his or her radio radio mm-hmm. cassette player whatever mm. right with television it's the same you're talking to one person who's switched off switch on this 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 tv set or is watching on, on cta mm. so i can't mc the way i'm emceeing to 1000 5000 10000 people mm. it's a different story you can't even talk in plu, plu, plural yeah so yeah. it's it's, yeah, so like so it's really so how was your day how you finish day how was your mashuja day tell me about it through for the calling 07 blah, blah 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 send me your message send me your tweet tag me at ng kenya etc so it's one person it's it's an, it's it's a conversation so i had to learn that yeah. and then learn a bit of mc and then it opened for me corporate because now corporate when you're talking to like managers you don't want to shout at them mm-hmm. unless they end of your party mm-hmm. <laughs> where now hr tells you fungua yeah chafua this thing so sometimes corporate events are like uh, award ceremonies gala dinners yep 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 it's a launch of a product you're talking to like partners some are attended by diplomats yep um like you can find like i i launched for example uh, a residence it was called the signature residence it uh, was attended by the likes of kidero and his governor mm. takish ambassador to kenya such guys so you're not shouting at these guys these are billionaires mm. <laughs> you have to talk to them yep. and engage them about this amazing brand new residence that mm. has the following amenities a b c d e f it's a conversation yeah so, but i still bring that dng freshness mm. but toned down yep. so i have two brands i have dng the number one hype man that is energy and hype for concerts youth etc then i have dng the freshest corporate mc that is the guy in the suit you see you see me in a suit in a black tie mm. looking all glamorous that's dng the freshest corporate mc mm. did your dreads get you locked out not really because you know my dreads are very neat mm. i used to do them every two weeks at uh, roots big shout out steve <laughs> and and you know i'd finger them with a band by the time I'm, I'm on stage it's hey who's this fresh dazzling young man mm. so even like some of my clients liked that so when it i catch you stand out it made me stand out yep because the other corporate mcs that i found were presenters as i said mm. radio presenters and uh oh, they were presenters. very proper they're very proper yeah you know um it's not fun it's not jokes it's mm. it's very serious yeah i get but it i mean i brought a dynamism that had not been experienced like you know i got bob colimo to lie down with me at uh Uh, I think KU or Jaquar and take a selfie on stage. Mm. I'd get uh, MDs to dance Maloe. <laughs> you know like so so I'd, this... I'd, I'd step I'd step it up and and show give guys an a brand image or an experience that they had never seen. This world opened up after Kiss now. Yeah, after radio. Radio after, after... unlocked corporate. Aha, uh-huh, I yes. get it. Actually, what the number realizing your on ground mc skills of pushing product is actually probably what made these guys at kiss be like this guy this guy can, can do sell it. product because let's yeah. be real and radio, the youth. 
is about selling products correct advertisements it's about advertisement and and keeping the listener engaged so you, how are you able to communicate that product bring roi end of the day yeah. this roi brought the client comes yeah. back and also the radio the, makes money you're right and also now because of being on air pushing product i learned how to be a better communicator mm-hmm. how to structure you see because radio is about structured links Li- very limited time yes. to communicate something in fact we used to argue with uh one of our bosses who was who was there at the time called Pete Sinclair. I think he's still there at, at Radio Africa. He used to say, "Your links are too long, DNG." And <laughs> he's an old white guy, very nice. And, and he, I used to tell him, "But I have so much to say." He's yeah. like, "Talk less." <laughs> so those are our dim meetings. And so he, that place was proper training. Proper bro. training, yeah. So they'd work on my links so that I, I, the links are shorter. They, sh- they used to say, "Short and keep it short and sweet." Mm. Yes. Keep it. Short. short and sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, bro. So I have, to, I have to also learn how to like, I don't like I don't have to say the whole story of my whole weekend in one. You don't week. have to do a CTA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the whole two two hours or three hours on Saturdays to to spread out my story or you know what I mean. Yeah, bro. Or just pick the very important bits. Hey, dude. Radio is very different. First and foremost, I'm so jazzed that you never went to school for radio. That's. It. But you still ended up being on one of the biggest stations in the country. Yeah, that's crazy. And then now, when I left one, no, no, when you left Kiss. Sorry, when I left Kiss, my story was in the newspaper that week. Pulse, I remember. And then the next week, one called me. I told him I'm not interested in getting back on radio. And I, I told him I'm just not interested. Sorry, they call me again. And they gave you an offer you couldn't no, say. And no, and I told them, listen, this is Piera McKenna who called me. Piera was the head of PR and communication. Yo. So Piera, Piera, Piera is like, DNG, DNG. I told her, listen, Piera, like, I've chomoka radio so I can focus on my brand. So, you know, like, I want to do, I want to have some free time to do my thing. We talked and she's like, Piera, Piera was like, DNG, just, just come and listen. Come, don't commit. Come and hear us out, dude. You are so good. They wanted you that badly. Yeah. So I check in. I meet. I can't remember who I met. I think I met. I don't think I met the MD first. I think I met the admin Susan. They call me Susie Bigger, and, and I think Ken Sang, who was like the MD's right hand man, and Pierre. So we spoke candidly. So she asked me why I left, etc. So I told them, listen, man, I, I left because I want time to do my gigs. My MC thing is popping. I'm an agency. I told them everything. I'm, on, I'm in school. Yo, like, you can't fungar me with time. I need freedom. When I have a gig, I'll give you notice this day. Even I'll pre-record. If that's, can we agree on terms? So they were flexible enough to agree on terms and they were flexible enough to give me even more leave days. What? Yeah. So I checked in. So now you see that narrative of guests saying I was fired from kids. Actually, I resigned and I paid them cash in lieu of notice. I paid what? them. What? Yeah, I was the only guy in the history of the company to do that. <laughs> what? So you resigned and of course because you've not given them the three months notice. I paid my you three paid... months salary to them. What? I wrote them a check. Dude. Yeah. That's what Wakina Kibe were being arrested for. Okay, yeah. no, no, no. There's, it wasn't even that. They, yeah. Their they, contract they, had, so, they, The contract was they locked them. Yeah. They were not allowed they to paid work. cash in lieu. They even gave me a letter of recommendation. Even I did an exit interview with the HR, Madam Catherine or, or Catherine, I don't remember the name, or Hanga, something like that. I did. to attend a Vizuri. Even later, but there as an artist, I went to do interviews. They have gone several. I have no issues. Mainly, I believe, like, where you can salvage a relationship. Mm. Um, because one day you, you meet something, no, one day you meet, you don't have to work for them again, but uh, it's a small industry. It's so we're, so we're even small. when the Gazette was writing takataka about me, that I was fired, they didn't know the facts. So now I called my show, Fired Up! <laughs> one FM Fired Up from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Hosted by DNG. That's what I called my show. Yeah. So I they, used they gave you the, cre- the they gave stones you- guys were throwing at yeah. me to build a house. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave you that much leeway and creativity now even to... Yes, yes. To conceptualize my show content and all that. Because it was a new station, mm. budding. Um, was the Chums good? Chums was good. 
better yeah. than where you're, you're coming from. Uh, you see now, the, the dynamics at Kiss were. Oh, you had many different. Options. I had two contracts. Yeah, I, was on I get TV. So mm-hmm. collectively, radio yeah. of course more. Yeah. But on radio, this was good. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy, comfortable, and then the terms for me were everything. I, I was. I exited Radio Africa because of the terms. Mm. Oh, now, you know, you get. You know how clients book. Yeah. yeah. They call a guy. An agency calls you on a Saturday. On sorry, Thursday. They're like, Yo, manze, client, I may approve budget. Your gigs are too. Can we do it? Mm. So I needed a place where I can explain that to the client. The client understands that I'm not being truant mm. and that I will manage this space. City, I will yes. even record a, a, a pre-recorded show. So did you do pre-recorded yes, shows? Recorded? Yes, I've done many times. Even over holidays, Nini, I've done. Yo. Okay, and that then began your... Yeah, so now, so now I was able to continue emceeing the way I want with the freedom and, and, and now still be on radio. Then now when I, I was called up to do the TNA campaign, I left 1FM. That was 2012, 2013. Okay, between 2008 and 2000 and... Um, okay, in fact, let's talk about finishing school. Yeah. You get, and now the growth of 254 Entertainment because now it becomes a beast. Yeah, so I finished, I graduated from USAU for my undergrad in 2010, I mm. guess. Um, by then, I was handling brands like Airtel. These are some of my most solid clients. Mm. On ground activations for the youth anywhere. Countrywide. Like the, the this this campaigns are so serious that I do de- I deploy several teams at the same time in Whoa. different parts of Kenya. Like I have a team in Kisumu and another one in Mombasa. So that's when I was buying my activation vans because mm. that's what I pitched. Initially, when, when I got those jobs for campus activations, I was leasing mm. for my guy. And then later I realized that I'm spending too much money leasing. Mm. So I made the business decision to buy because the activations were becoming so crazy, many. Crazy. So if I'm leasing per day, I was looking at the math. I'm like in 20 Seven activations, K, yeah, I, bought, I bought a car. So I, I bought my first van. It was had my second van. Now I'm deploying countrywide. I'm hiring guys. Yeah, now you've become supervisors. First of, all, first of all, the zeros <laughs> have moved from six zeros to seven zeros. Seven zeros. This is we're talking Airtel time. Yeah. Then now you've got people who now you have to your employees are no longer two or three. Yeah. From from. I'm now putting guys on contract now because now you see I have to. I was also very smart where I kept my payroll manager. Yeah, yeah. Lean. Mm. So I only had permanent, tax, see, yeah, see, see. permanent guys who I really need 24-7 or, or you know, day-to-day, 8-5. Mm. And then the other stuff like brand activators, talent, MCs, Nini, DJs, I'd book and dancers, I'd book on a need basis, mm. on contract. The same way they would call you to be an exactly. IC. Exactly. So I realized that's the best way to manage operational costs. So that's what I did. So yeah. I've, I've booked guys like in a DNA major, Kuta C was one of our MCs, Samora, mm. Sheila Box. Mm. Like we've done a lot with different people. And let me ask, is it wrong for an agency to make a commission of booking an artist? No, it's a standard practice. practice so across, you, across the you, world. If you booked D, uh, DNA, you'd, you'd, you would make a commission of DNA. Yeah, so it, it works in different ways, mm-hmm. depending on your arrangement. As most of the times, we build the client the agency fee. Mm-hmm. So you have a budget. Let's say your budget is a million shillings. Yep. And then you build a client 20% of a million shillings. That is 1.2. Yeah, yeah. So you make your agency fee from, from there. Mm. And then now if you have other moratoriums with other artists, like for uh, separate bookings, the artists who come and tell you, yo, look for me, Jobo. Any any Jobo you get for me, I break you, I break you off 20%. So we'll agree okay. to that. I get So So, I get. so, so we... We work in different mm. ways. But of course, it's not that you can just give him the gig for the sake of giving him the gig. No, now He has to work with for the client because at the end of the day... Yeah. So for me, uh, as, an, as an agency owner, the, we book artists on behalf of clients. Uh-huh, I so see. let's say, for example, Airtel want to do a, a campus run across the country and they want artists, so I'll, I'll, I'll propose the kind of artist list and obviously we'll have a conversation with the client because even them their guests they want to work with as a brand mm-hmm. and then we come to an agreement and then now we book based on that so mm-hmm. i'm booking an artist for that client for that duration bro that was a good contract that you got yeah okay so what were some of the challenges that you faced in this time now 
we've uh, talked about the apps but then i'm sure this is managing people bro i i understand it's it. not easy so yeah, yeah obviously uh there's, there's a ton of a challenge because you sometimes you have to let people go because they're not delivering i've had pas who sleep in the office come home come to the office drunk come late i've had all sorts of experiences i've had people steal from me even a guest stole my laptop one of my office laptops yeah so had to put ctv so those are things you learn and you move on with life uh you know i've had guys who smoke weed on the job clients complain to me yeah guys go to an activation late guys bs come late they don't perform sales are low there are all sorts of challenges so you have to as i said earlier remedial action is king yeah you swiftly uh, remodel that team if i have a supervisor who's who's not managing properly tomorrow they'll not be on that project if i have a brand activator who's not delivering tomorrow they'll not be on that project and you have no qualms with that it's in our contract i tie it down to performance it's a performance contract like the government nice. is having yeah. today yeah so you have targets nini because even i have to perform i can lose the entire contract because, because of the ea came late mm. so it becomes the ng you said you're bringing four bs in this club you brought three so it's like i'm trying to kula chums mm. no, no, no. Mm. my reputation precedes me out of all my challenges i don't have integrity as a challenge mm. I've, i've worked for people who used to steal other people's reports and say they activated and didn't activate I'll not name names but I've seen that happen. And you lie to a client and you go and present a report from another agency. Oh, you say for example, oh when Kisumu this week ni 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 and you didn't do nada. Ulikula tu. Yes, ulikula do yote. Like what is happening in our economy today? Yeah. Kuna ukora mingi sana. But the reason I have been able to sustain in business since 2008 and as an entertainer since 2016 is integrity Esther. And that's so important for any business owner or entertainer or anybody be you, your word your word like if you commit and that I call you as a client and say i'm facing a, a certain challenge and i explain and we rearrange the the agreement mm. rather than i cheat my client and i lie to their faces and they find out they'll blacklist me yeah. and i'll never work for them again you see sometimes because of you've done such amazing work in the past jobs follow you Esther. jobs clients just call you Mm. Someone is like DNG nataka ni design ye kitu fulani fulani. So, DNG eh uh, I'm look we're looking for a presenter for this show. Are you interested? Yes. Mm. DNG have a gig. Are you available? Yes. Sometimes you, looking, some, you become the magnet. Sometimes, yes. So, so it's 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 like a bicycle. Mm. You have to pedal. But sometimes you're, you're, you're you free you free. ride on your own traction. Mm, yeah. mm. Sometimes you find a downhill pali ni mterem kwa sasa. Mm. Do in a calm to. Sometimes kuna kamlima huko. Eh, hey, sasa zingine ni mlima, sasa zingine jo bike iko na puncture. Mm. <laughs> Chain imekatika. <laughs> Ball bearings. <laughs> okay, let's, <laughs> let's let's go into this TNA. Yeah. Um, so if, if that's where the story goes because I don't want to miss out anything in this 2008 yeah. period to 2012. So now yeah from, from radio uh I got a call to do TNA. Um, First of all, are you the only director of your company right now? Where to? You went? My mom. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Just two of us. So, was she an investor? Yes, she was. She was, eh? Yeah, even the business spaces this is she owns. Oh, it. yes, it's true. Yes. Okay. So yeah. We are partners. Nice. But though she's a she's a silent partner. Mm. She not very much interested in in the the, the, the to day, entertainment yeah. Yeah. and so do you give her my dividends and uh, when she allows out, me, when oh. she allows me to okay or she, when she allows me to do something for her. my mother is she a, wants to see you succeed yeah my mother has been on her own for a very long time and as such my mother is self sufficient mm. i've never met a woman who doesn't ask for anything she so um she caters for herself she's she doesn't ask for help even when she needs it mm. i'm not those parents who i don't have those parents that or that parent who bogs me down with black tax no black tax mm. black tax is where lazima ukuo narudisha kitu not because i'm not willing mm. but i'm not able to i am mm. so but just because she's able to do it on her own and she ha- she takes joy and pride in doing it on her own mm. she's always been that kind of person 
a real hustle. And perhaps that's where I get my entrepreneurship and, and business spirit from. That grit you mm. asked about earlier, I get it from her because she has had to suffer and had to struggle to give me the best of lives, even when it's hard on her. And she's done it without ever complaining. Yeah. And so it's beautiful. So sometimes I do stuff and we concern her even about money. She doesn't want to be said you had mm. some things I do it without her even knowing. And I tell her about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that kind of relationship, which is perhaps peculiar, but it's how we are. Okay. Let's, 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 can we touch into this um, TNA story? Sure. Okay.